Welcome to St. Helena Ministries Daily Prayer with the Divine Office. Today is Wednesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. I'm Patrick. This is my beautiful bride, Charlotte. Hi. Let's get started. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Come, Come, let, let us, us worship, worship before, before the Lord, Lord our Maker. Maker. God, whose almighty word chaos and darkness heard and took their flight, hear us, we humbly pray, and where the gospel day sheds not its glorious ray, let there be light. Savior, who came to bring on your redeeming wing healing and sight, health to the sick and mind, sight to the inly blind, O oh, now to all mankind, let there be light. Spirit of truth and love, life-giving holy dove, speed on your flight. Move on the water's face, bearing the lamp of grace, and in earth's darkest place, let there be light. Holy and blessed three, glorious trinity, wisdom, love, might, boundless as ocean tide, rolling in fullest pride, through the world far and wide, let there be light. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my savior. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. The waves of death rose about me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The snares of the grave entangled me. The traps of death confronted me. In my anguish I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I love, love you, Lord. Lord. You, you are, are my strength. strength. The Lord has saved me. He wanted me for his own. The Lord has saved me. He wanted me for his own. Then the earth reeled and rocked. The mountains were shaken to their base. They reeled at his terrible anger. Smoke came forth from his nostrils and scorching fire from his mouth. Coals were set ablaze by its heat. He lowered the heavens and came down, a black cloud under his feet. He came enthroned on the cherubim. He flew on the wings of the wind. He made the darkness his covering, the dark waters of the clouds his tent. A brightness shone out before him with hailstorms and flashes of fire. The Lord thundered in the heavens. The Most High let his voice be heard. He shot his arrows, scattered the foe, flashing his lightnings and putting them to flight. The bed of the ocean was revealed. The foundations of the world were laid bare. At the thunder of your threat, O Lord, at the blaze of the breath of your anger. From on high he reached down and seized me. He drew me forth from the mighty waters. He matched me from a, he snatched me from a powerful foe, from my enemies whose strength I could not match. They assailed me in the day of my misfortune, but the Lord was my support. 
He brought me forth into freedom. He saved me because he loved me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has saved me. He wanted me for his own. Lord, kindle a light for my guidance, and scatter my darkness. Lord, kindle a light for my guidance, and scatter my darkness. He rewarded me, because I was just. Repaid me, for my hands were clean. For I have kept the way of the Lord, and have not fallen away from my God. For his judgments are all before me. I have never neglected his commands. I have always been upright before him. I have kept myself from guilt. He repaid me because I was just, and my hands were clean in his eyes. You are loving with those who love you. You show yourself perfect with the perfect. With the sincere you show yourself sincere, but the cunning you outdo in cunning. For you save a humble people, but humble the eyes that are proud. You, O Lord, are my lamp, my God who lightens my darkness. With you I can break through any barrier. With my God I can scale any wall. Lord God, our strength and salvation. Put in us the flame of your love and make our love for you grow to a perfect love which reaches to our neighbor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was was in the the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, kindle a light for my guidance and scatter my darkness. All wondered at the words of grace, which came from the mouth of the Lord. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. Taking off her splendid garments, she put on garments of distress and mourning. In place of her precious ointments, she covered her head with dirt and ashes. She afflicted her body severely. All her festive adornments were put aside, and her hair was wholly disheveled. Then she prayed to the Lord, the God of Israel, saying, My Lord, our King, You alone are God. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I was wont to hear from the people of the land of my forefathers that you, O Lord, chose Israel from among all peoples, and our fathers from among all their ancestors as a lasting heritage, and that you fulfilled all your promises to them. But now we have sinned in your sight, And you have delivered us into the hands of our enemies, because we worshipped their gods. You are just, O Lord. But now they are not satisfied with our bitter servitude, but have undertaken to do away with the decree you have pronounced, and to destroy your heritage, to close the mouths of those who praise you, and to extinguish the glory of your temple and your altar, to open the mouths of the heathen to acclaim their false gods, and to extol an earthly king forever. O Lord, do not relinquish your scepter to those that are not. Let them not gloat over our ruin, but turn their own counsel against them, and make an example of our chief enemy. Be mindful of us, O Lord. Manifest yourself in the time of our distress, and give me courage, king of gods and ruler of every power. Put in my mouth persuasive words within the presence of the lion, and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy, so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us by your power, and help me who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord. You know all things. You know that I hate the glory of the pagans and abhor the bed of the uncircumcised or of any foreigner. You know that I am under constraint, that I abhor the sign of grandeur which rests on my head when I appear in public. Abhor it like a polluted rag, and do not wear it in private. I, your handmaid, have never eaten at the table of Haman, nor have I graced the banquet of the king, or drunk the wine of libations. From the day I was brought here till now, your handmaid has had no joy except in you, O Lord, God of Abraham. O God, more powerful than all, hear the voice of those in despair, Save us from the power of the wicked, 
and deliver me from my fear. King of the saints, all-powerful God, Lord, give me courage. Put the right words into my mouth, that I might speak wisely. Give us some time for repentance, and do not silence those who sing your praise, O Lord. Put the right words into my mouth, that I might speak wisely. A reading from a letter to Proba by St. Augustine, Bishop. We read, for example, May you receive glory among all the nations as you have among us, and may your prophets prove themselves faithful. What does this mean but hallowed be your name? We read, Lord of power and might, touch our hearts and show us your face, and we shall be saved. What does this mean but your kingdom come? We read, direct my ways by your sword and let no sin rule over me. What does this mean but your will be done on earth as it is in heaven? We read, do not give me poverty or riches. What does this mean but give us this day our daily bread? We read, Lord, remember David and all his patient suffering. And Lord, if I have done this, if there is guilt on my hands, if I have repaid evil, for evil. What does this mean but forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us? We read, Rescue me, God, from my enemies. Deliver me from those who rise up against me. What does this mean but deliver us from evil? If you study every word of the petitions of Scripture, you will find, I think, nothing that is not contained and included in the Lord's Prayer. When we pray, then we may use different words to say the same things, but we may not say different things. We should not hesitate to make these prayers for ourselves, for our friends, for our strangers, and even for enemies, though the emotions in our heart may vary with the strength or weakness of our relationships with individuals. You now know, I think, the attitudes you should bring to prayer as well as the petitions you should make. And this, not because of what I have taught you, but thanks to the teaching of the one who has been pleased to teach us all. We must search out the life of happiness. We must ask for it from the Lord our God. Many have discussed at great length the meaning of happiness, but surely we do not need to go to them and their long drawn out discussions. Holy Scripture says concisely and with truth, happy is the people whose God is the Lord. We are meant to belong to that people and to be able to see God and live with him forever. And so the object of this command is to love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and a sincere faith. In these three qualities, a good conscience stands for hope, faith, hope, and love. Bring safely to God the person who prays, that is, the person who believes, who hopes, who desires, and who ponders what he is asking of the Lord in the Lord's Prayer. Listen to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my cry for help. O God, you will not scorn the prayers of the poor. Listen attentively to my plea for help. O God, you will not scorn the prayers of the poor. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, our source of power and inspiration, give us strength and joy in serving you as followers of Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. Thank you for praying with us today. Don't forget to join us for our Sunday Rosary at 6 p.m. Eastern every Sunday on our YouTube channel. Please also like, share, follow, and subscribe on whichever platforms you use. We're still pursuing that 750 subscribers before the end of the year. Pray for us and know of our continued prayers for you. Have, Have a, a blessed, blessed day. day.